Japan, a country made up of many islands with a rich and ancient history, has some incredible stone structures that date back to times long forgotten. These huge and impressive sites are often built with amazing accuracy and lined up with the stars. Nearby, there are massive tombs surrounded by water moats that no one has ever dug up. Some stone walls are similar to those found in Peru and Egypt, made of blocks so large and heavy that even today's technology couldn't move them. Join us as we explore the prehistoric mega structures of Japan and unexcavated giant tombs. Mount Nokogiri. Mount Nokogiri, known as Saw Mountain, is a small mountain located on the Boso Peninsula in Honshu, Japan. It sits on the southern edge between Futsu City and Kionan Town in Awa District, Chiba Prefecture. The mountain stretches from east to west and resembles the jagged profile of a Japanese saw. Its steep western slopes drop sharply into Tokyo Bay, where two road tunnels and a rail tunnel pass through, connecting Futsu to Tateyama via the Uchibo Line. These tunnels were originally carved out during the Edo period, when the mountain was used as a quarry, and remnants of this history add to its scenic charm. On the western side of Mount Nokogiri lies the expansive Nihonji Temple Complex. Here, visitors can find two impressive sculptures, a colossal seated figure of Yakushi Nyorai, standing at 31.05 meters tall, which is the largest pre-modern stone-carved daibutsu in Japan. It's so cool. It's just like quiet. It's carved into the mountain. That makes it even cooler. And the Hundred Shaku Cannon, a tall relief carving of cannon on one of the quarry walls. Additionally, the site boasts 1,500 hand-carved Arhat sculptures. Combined with breathtaking views of the Boso Hills and Tokyo Bay, Mount Nokogiri is a highly popular destination for tourists. The temple is accessible by different means. To reach Nokogiriyama by train, take the JR Uchibo line to Hamakanaya Station. From there, it's a pleasant 10-minute walk to the lower station of the Nokogiriyama Ropeway. This ropeway carries visitors up near the summit of Nokogiriyama. The round-trip ticket costs 1,200 yen, and a one-way ticket is 650 yen. Alternatively, you can access the main entrance to Nihonji Temple at the mountain's base with a 45-minute walk or a short ride on an occasional bus from JR Hoda Station. For a breathtaking journey, you can take the Tokyo Bay Ferry, which connects Kurihama on the Miura Peninsula to Kanaya on the Boso Peninsula. The ferry takes just a 10-minute walk from the lower station of the Nokogiriyama Ropeway. Ferries depart approximately every hour and the crossing takes about 40 minutes. Passenger fare for a one-way trip is 900 yen, while it costs around 4,400 yen for a regular-sized car. If you prefer driving, there are two routes to Nokogiriyama. One is a toll road costing 1,000 yen, which includes parking fees at the mountain's top. This route takes you directly to parking lots near the summit. The other route is toll-free and ends a bit lower on the mountain, not far from the Daibutsu statue. At Cape Myogain on the mountain's western edge, visitors can enjoy stunning views of Tokyo Bay, especially during sunset, and watch large ships passing through the Uraga Channel. The Temple of Kotokuin. Kotokuin is a Buddhist temple in Kamakura, Japan, belonging to the Jodo Shu sect. It is located in Kanagawa Prefecture, known as Taizan, and also called Shoujo Senji. The temple is famous for the Great Buddha of Kamakura, a huge bronze statue of Amitabha which is an iconic symbol of Japan. This statue, recognized as a national treasure, stands prominently on the temple grounds. It measures 43.8 feet tall and weighs about 103 tons. It was made around 1252 during the Kamakura period, which is why it's named as such. Visitors to Kotoku Inn can look inside the hollow statue, where many people have left their mark over time. Originally decorated with 32 bronze lotus petals, only four are left today. A serious notice at the entrance reminds everyone to respect the holiness of the grounds, as it is a place for worship and eternal remembrance. Before the current bronze statue, Kotoku Inn housed a large wooden Buddha completed in 1243 after 10 years of work and generous funding by Lady Inada no Tsubon and Buddhist priest Joko of Totomi. Unfortunately, a storm in 1248 damaged the wooden statue and its hall leading Joko to propose a new bronze statue. Funds were raised successfully, and the bronze image was likely cast by renowned artisans of the time, Onogoromon or Tanji Hisatomo. Once covered in gold, 
Faint traces of gold leaf still shine near its ears. Over its history, the great Buddha endured natural disasters. Its hall was destroyed by storms in 1313 and 1369, and a devastating tsunami in 1498 swept away its last shelter. Since then, the great Buddha has stood exposed to the elements. Even the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake caused damage, and repairs to its base were made in 1925. More recent efforts in 1960 to 1961 strengthened its neck and made it earthquake resistant. Additional careful restoration and preservation work was done in early 2016 to ensure this cultural treasure continues to inspire awe and respect. The Sakafune Ishi Stonework. Japan is famous for its old customs, long history, and interesting mysteries. Among these secrets is the Sakafune Ishi Stone, a puzzling artifact found on Asuka Island in Nara Prefecture. Though its exact age is not known, experts think it's about 1,300 years old, dating back to the time known as the Asuka period. Asuka, known for its old sites and ancient remains, thrived during the Asuka period 538 to 710 AD, a significant era marked by the start of Buddhism and the strengthening of imperial rule. The Sakafune Ishi Stone stands out among the many big structures in the area. However, archaeologists and historians still argue about where it came from and what it was used for. Even though it weighs around 100 tons, the Sakafune Ishi Stone itself is a large, flat rock decorated with two basins and a detailed network of channels carefully carved into its surface. The detailed craftsmanship shows skill in stonework, revealing the abilities of ancient craftsmen, although the exact methods and tools used remain a mystery. Several ideas have been suggested to explain the stone's purpose. One idea suggests the stone was used to polish rice, based on the Japanese term sakafune, which means rice washing vessel. Another theory suggests the stone was used in religious ceremonies, possibly in rituals involving purifying water. Some think the stone might have been used as an astronomical tool, fitting with the Asuka period's interest in the cosmos and calendars. An interesting idea suggests the carvings on the stone show a map of the surrounding land. Beyond its archaeological interest, the Sakafune Ishi Stone holds deep cultural meaning for Japan. It attracts visitors curious about ancient Japanese mysteries and represents the country's rich history and enduring customs. Modern scientific methods like 3D scanning and elemental analysis are now being used to study the Sakafune Ishi Stone further. These efforts aim to learn more about how it was made and what it might have been used for. Conservation projects are also underway to protect this mysterious artifact for future generations, ensuring it remains a subject of curiosity and study. Oya Stone Quarry in Utsunomiya. Tourists from Tokyo often travel through Utsunomiya on their way to Nikko, using it as a transit point between the fast train and local routes. However, Utsunomiya is more than just a quick stop. It's worth exploring on its own, and you might even think about staying overnight to fully enjoy what it has alongside Nikko. A notable feature of Utsunomiya is its special local pumice stone, known as Oya Stone, mined northwest of the city. This stone is so unique that it's recognized as a Japan heritage site by the Agency of Cultural Affairs. Historically used for building strong walls and storage buildings, Oya Stone gained attention from the Western world in the early 20th century when Frank Lloyd Wright chose it for detailed carvings at his famous Imperial Hotel in Tokyo, now preserved in Mejimura, Aichi Prefecture. Exploring Oya Stone-related places in Utsunomiya can easily take up a day, particularly during the Utsunomiya Festa in Oya, held from October 12 to 26. This festival includes nighttime lights, making October an ideal time to plan your visit. A highlight in Utsunomiya is the Futarayama Shrine, situated on a small hill. This shrine, essential to the city's cultural and religious life for over 1,600 years, is famous for its stone staircase bordered by historic Tokugawa-era walls made from Oya stone. Just a short walk from the shrine is Matsugamane Catholic Church, a beautiful example of Oya stone architecture constructed in 1932. It is used as a community center hosting various events, concerts, and services with excellent sound quality due to the stone's characteristics. Near the church, Orion Dory offers a glimpse into local life with its traditional covered shopping street. 
For lunch, Oshiraku across from Matsugamane Catholic Church provides a pleasant setting in a renovated Oya stone warehouse, offering tasty set meals. After lunch, a brief walk to Tobu Ekimai bus stop takes you to Oya, about five minutes away. The bus ride itself provides views of Oya stone buildings, and upon arrival, you'll see mined hills and stone cliffs along the Sugata River. Oya stone, formed over 20 million years ago from volcanic ash and seawater, tells a fascinating geological story. At Oya, you can visit Kanahan, an open quarry now open to visitors on weekends. Here, you can bake pizza in wood-burning ovens made from Oya stone, or explore stone-cutting facilities with a hard hat. Nearby, the Oya History Museum presents the stone's history through displays and even a unique sound and light presentation. Utsunomiya, often in the shadow of nearby Nikko, proves itself a place worth more than a brief stopover, offering a deep history, cultural landmarks, and a special geological legacy in Oya stone. The Ishi no Hoden, the Ishi no Hoden stands as a colossal stone structure found within the grounds of Oshiko Jinja, a Shinto shrine in Takasago, Hyogo Prefecture, Japan's Kansai region. This ancient monument, crafted from tuff, is flanked by natural bedrock on three sides. Estimated to weigh around 500 tons, it measures 6.4 meters wide, 5.7 meters tall, and 7.2 meters thick. Its shape resembles two flat rectangular blocks arranged vertically, enclosing a smaller rectangular piece, with one side featuring a pyramid-like protrusion. A notable feature is the ample space between the bedrock and the monolith, allowing passage for an adult and offering a pathway around it with an admission fee. Situated in a large depression that forms a pond at its base, the monolith creates an illusion of floating due to a central pillar carved into its base, unseen from eye level. Despite extensive three-dimensional laser measurements conducted between 2005 and 2006 by Takasago City Board of Education and Otimai University Research Institute, the origins and purpose of the monolith remain shrouded in mystery. According to legend, the Kami Okuninushi and Suku Nabakona journeyed from Izumo to Harima, attempting to construct a stone palace overnight. Their efforts were thwarted by the local Kami rebellion leading to the palace's incomplete state. Nonetheless, the kami vowed to protect the land. Historically documented in the Harima Kokudo Fudoki from around 713 to 717 AD, the monolith is attributed to Mononobe no Moriya, per orders of Prince Shotoku, despite Moriya having passed long before Shotoku's regency. During the Edo period, Philip Franz von Siebold documented the monument with detailed sketches in his work, Nippon. It sits 1.5 kilometers from Hoden Station on the JR West Sanyo Main Line. The term Tatsuyama Stone refers to rhyolite welded tuff found along the Kakagawa River, originating from volcanic activity approximately 100 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. These quarries have been active for over 1,700 years, dating back to the Kofun period, covering 162 sites totaling 670,000 square meters in Takasago. In 1979, 31 locations were designated as a national historic site, including Tatsuyama and Hodenyama neighborhoods. Stone from these quarries was historically transported via boat from the Hokusantani River and used in constructions ranging from sarcophagi during the Kofun period to foundation stones for Heijo Palace and various temples in the Yamato region. More recently, it has been used in structures like the stone walls of Himeji Castle, Tokyo Imperial Palace, the National Diet Building, and many others, the Kamiishi Stone. If you stroll just a short distance from Sakafuna Ishi, you'll discover another remarkable stone known as Kamiishi, or the Turtle Stone. This massive rock earned its name because it unmistakably resembles a turtle, complete with a well-defined shell, head, and limbs. The exact reasons for its creation and the meanings behind it have fascinated historians for years. Some argue it may have been used to track celestial events or seasons, while others suggest it could mark a burial ground or an important site in the Asuka region's history. Legend has it that the turtle stone in Asuka, Japan, possesses a mysterious and somewhat foreboding quality. It's said that if the stone ever turns completely to face west, a great flood will ravage the land, and if it faces westward for an extended period, Japan itself will sink into the ocean and vanish. This belief makes it a symbolic measure of the nation's fortune. Today, the Turtle Stone points southwest, a fact that both intrigues and worries those familiar with its legend. 
This unusual behavior has sparked various theories about its nature and origins. One particularly intriguing idea proposes that the stone might have magnetic properties that allow it to interact with the Earth's magnetic field. This interaction could potentially enable the stone to detect magnetic anomalies linked to major geological events like earthquakes or floods. Such capabilities would transform the turtle stone from a mere cultural artifact into a natural geophysical marker and warning system. The pole shift hypothesis, which suggests historical shifts in the Earth's poles causing global cataclysms, could offer a plausible explanation for the stone's reputed behavior. If the turtle stone is indeed magnetic, it might be influenced by changes or instabilities in the Earth's magnetic field, caused by movements in the planet's core or tectonic plates. These shifts could align with the stone's legends, causing it to change its orientation ahead of significant environmental changes. The Onino Sekamen Stone In the same region, there are more ancient stone structures like Oni no Sekamen, which means the demon's washing stone. This megalith stands near the Asuka River and is renowned for its unusual shape and the stories that surround it. Local tales tell of an Oni, a colossal demon, who used this stone to wash its face each morning. The stone itself is large and flat, perfectly suited for the mythical tasks it supposedly performed. It's also believed to have had a role in ancient ceremonies or rituals, given its prominent location and distinctive appearance. Some experts speculate it might have been used as an altar or ceremonial platform, possibly connected to water rituals due to its proximity to the river. The stone's physical features, including worn grooves that hint at repeated use, only deepen its mystery and legend. Similarly, nearby is Oni no Manita, or the demon's cutting board. According to legend, this stone was used by a giant Oni to either chop human victims or prepare food. This chilling imagery adds to the stone's eerie fascination and its cultural significance as a place steeped in supernatural tales. Physically, Oni no Manaita impresses with its size and the flatness of its surface. So here we are at another stone known as the Devil's Toilet, explained the guide. The Ishibutai Kofun The Ishibutai Kofun is a remarkable stone tomb from the Asuka period, located in the eastern part of Shimanosho in Asuka, Nara Prefecture, Japan. This large tomb is believed to be the resting place of Soga no Umako, a powerful leader from ancient Japan. Covering an area of 27 square meters, it is the biggest known megalithic structure in Japan. The Kofun is also referred to as the Ishibutoya Kofun. It sits about five kilometers from the Tanzan Shrine. The name Ishibutai Kofun comes from the Japanese words Ishi, meaning stone, and Butai, meaning stage. This name was inspired by its resemblance to a large stone stage. The name has been in use since at least the Tokugawa period, as recorded in a Buddhist pilgrimage guide from 1853. Historians believe the Ishibutai Kofun is the tomb of Soga no Umako, who died around 626 during the reign of Empress Suiko. His death and burial at Momohama are noted in the ancient chronicles. Historian Sadakichi Kita suggested that the tomb's earthen mound was removed as a punishment by the imperial government after Soga no Umako's death. Built on a mountain spur leading to a small plateau, the Ishibutai Kofun features a platform, a gallery entryway, stone walls forming a tomb, and a ceiling made from two massive stones. It is constructed from 30 large stones sourced from Mount Tanamine, about three kilometers away. Originally, the tomb was part of a larger structure on a 50-meter square platform, surrounded by a 12-meter wide moat. Including the platform and moat, the whole site likely measured 85 meters long. The tomb's entrance path is particularly notable, stretching 38 meters with a shallow drainage channel running along it. This entrance was once covered by a stone ceiling, which has since disappeared. The inner chamber of the tomb is 7.5 meters long, 3.4 meters wide, and 4.8 meters high, made up of 30 stones. The tomb's ceiling stones are especially impressive, weighing around 60 and 77 tons. Originally, the Ishibutai Kofun was covered by a large, flat earthen mound, which has eroded over time, exposing the massive stone structure. The site was first excavated by archaeologist Kosaku Hamada in the 1930s. Unlike many other imperial tombs, this Kofun has been extensively excavated because it is not designated as an imperial tomb. The excavations yielded few significant finds, likely due to grave robbers who targeted the site shortly after its construction. However, 
Some stone shards, bronze tools, and pottery fragments were discovered. Additionally, evidence of other similar stone tombs was found nearby. In 1935, the Ishibutai Kofun was designated a historical site, and in 1954, it received the status of a special historic site, one of only 75 in Japan. Post-World War II excavations and reconstructions have further revealed the Kofun's historical significance. Today it is part of the Asuka Historical National Government Park. Visitors can reach the Ishibutai Kofun from Asuka Station on the Kintetsu Yoshino Line. The Asuka Tour Bus, also known as the Kami Bus, provides hourly service from the station to various locations within the park. Bicycle rentals are also available for about 1,000 yen per day, offering another way to explore the area. Osaka Castle Osaka Castle, known as Osaka Jo in Japanese, is one of the most famous landmarks in Japan, located in the Choku area of Osaka. This magnificent castle played a crucial role in unifying Japan during the Azuchi Momoyama period in the 16th century. The main tower of Osaka Castle stands on a piece of land about one square kilometer in size. It is built on two raised platforms made of landfill, supported by high walls of cut rock. This construction technique is called burdock piling. The tower is five stories tall on the outside and eight stories on the inside, built on a tall stone base to protect those inside from attackers. Surrounding the main tower are a series of moats and fortifications. The castle features two moats, an inner moat and an outer moat. The inner moat has two sections, one wet and one dry, while the outer moat, which marks the castle's boundary, consists of four water-filled sections, each representing a cardinal direction of north, east, south, and west. Covering an area of about 61 square meters, the castle grounds house 13 structures recognized by the Japanese government as important cultural assets. These include various gates, turrets, and a gunpowder magazine. Additionally, there are notable megaliths, like the octopus stone. Within the castle grounds, between the inner and outer moats, you will find several important structures, such as the remains of the Fushimi Yagura turret, the Enshogura gunpowder storehouse, and the Osaka Gehinken. There are also beautiful spots like Osaka Castle, Nishinomaru Garden, and Plum Grove. The inner moat can be crossed at two points, the Gokuraku Bashi Bridge in the north and the Sakuraman Gate in the south. Inside the inner moat, the castle is divided into two main areas, the Hamaru, Inner Bailey, and the Yamazato Maru Bailey. The Hamaru houses the main tower, a Japanese garden, the Kinmei Sui Well, and the Mireza Osakajo complex, among other sites. The Yamazato Maru Bailey includes the marked stone square and a monument to Hideyori and Yodadono. Osaka Castle's most prominent structure, the main keep or tenshu, served dual purposes, as a storage house in peaceful times and a fortified tower during the war. Nearby were the government offices and residences of the feudal lord, or daimyo, along with various turrets. Construction of the castle began in 1583 under Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who wanted to create a structure more impressive than Azuchi Castle, built by Oda Nobunaga. Hideyoshi's design included a five-story main tower with three additional underground stories and a gold leaf adorning its sides. The castle was completed in 1597, but Hideyoshi died the following year, leaving it to his son, Toyotomi Hideyori. In 1600, Tokugawa Ieyasu defeated his rivals at the Battle of Sekigahara and began his shogunate. In 1614, he attacked Osaka Castle in the winter, but despite being outnumbered, the Toyotomi forces managed to defend the castle's outer walls. However, Ieyasu filled in the outer moat, weakening the castle's defenses. In 1615, he launched another attack, leading to the fall of Osaka Castle, the death of Hideyori and Yododono, and the destruction of the castle buildings. In 1620, Tokugawa Hidetada, Ieyasu's successor, began reconstructing Osaka Castle. The new castle, built on top of the old one, featured granite walls that still stand today. A new main tower was constructed in 1628, mirroring the original design but in a different location. The castle faced further damage over the years, including destruction by lightning in 1660 and 1665. It was also the site of a dramatic theft in 7040 when a guard named Kajisuke Nakama stole a large sum of gold but was caught and executed. In 1843, 
repairs were made to the castle, and in 1868, during the Meiji Restoration, the castle was surrendered to imperial loyalists, leading to further destruction. Under the Meiji government, Osaka Castle became a military arsenal. The main keep was rebuilt in 1931 using pharaoh concrete. During World War II, the arsenal was heavily bombed, causing significant damage. In 1995, another restoration project began, aiming to restore the castle to its Edo-era glory, and was completed in 1997. Today, the castle serves as a museum. Osaka Castle is open to the public and can be easily reached from Osaka Jokoin Station on the JR West Osaka Loop Line. It is especially popular during cherry blossom season, when the grounds are filled with food vendors and performances. The Osaka Joe Hall, a large indoor arena, is also located within the castle park. Rock-cut tombs and Ishinuki Nagino Caves. Check out the amazing rock-cut tombs in Kyushu, Japan. These tombs are carved right into the sides of hills and cliffs, making full use of the natural rock formations. They have square or rectangular entrances that lead into deep chambers. Creating these tombs required expert stone carving skills and a deep knowledge of rock to make sure the chambers were safe and wouldn't collapse. What's even more fascinating is that if you compare the rock-cut tombs of Japan with the Sonicchi rock tombs in Turkey, you'll find some striking similarities. The same kind of rectangular doorway engravings can also be seen in India, Peru, Italy, and Egypt. It's quite strange that such similar designs appear in places so far apart. In Japan, there are more rock-cut tombs to explore. For instance, the Yoshimi Hiyakuana ancient burial tombs, which means 100 holes of Yoshimi. This site has 216 ancient burial caves carved into a hillside, each with a small square entrance leading to a round domed interior. These caves vary in size, but are generally big enough for one or two adults. Some of them have simple carvings or niches for offerings or memorial items. Another impressive site is the Ishinuki Nagino Caves in the Nagasaki District. These are a series of 48 ancient niches and small caves carved into a 250 meter long rock formation. They have detailed decorations on both the facades and the interiors, and some of the chambers are quite large, leading some researchers to think this site might have been an ancient city carved into the hillside. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In a time long before cities spread across Japan when large hairy elephants roamed and huge beasts ruled the land, there stood the great prehistoric megastructures. These tall monuments made by the hands of ancient tribes whispered stories of cleverness and power. Deep in the thick forests of Honshu, tucked under the cover of old trees, the tribes of old worked together. They moved huge stones with ropes made of woven vines, their efforts coordinated like a dance under the stars. Each structure rose like a guard, marking their special grounds and echoing the knowledge of their ancestors. One such structure called the Stone Guardians rose to heights never seen in those times. Its massive stones were carefully balanced, creating a maze of paths and rooms where ceremonies were done to honor the spirits of the land. The tribes thought these stones held the secrets of the stars, guiding them through seasons and events in the sky. What other mysteries could be hidden in these ancient Japanese stones? Let us know your answer in the comments section. Unexcavated Tombs in Japan Japan is home to thousands of old burial mounds, known as Kofun, most of which have never been dug up. These tombs, dating back to Japan's earliest rulers, come in various shapes and sizes, including keyhole, round, and square forms. The keyhole-shaped Kofun, unique to Japan, is especially interesting. These structures have a square front and a round back, and they are built with amazing precision. They look like islands surrounded by moats, some of which have multiple moats. One notable group of these tombs is the Mozu Kofun Group in Sakai City, consisting of over 100 burial mounds. The largest and most famous is the Dyson Kofun, stretching about 1,600 feet in length. Its surface area is bigger than that of the Pyramids of Giza, making it the largest tomb by area in the world. Building the Dyson Kofun is believed to have required 2,000 workers over 16 years, involving the removal of 1.64 million cubic meters of soil. Local legend says that while people worked by day, gods worked by night to build these tombs. Despite their size, little is known about the Kofun, because they are linked to Japan's legendary first emperors, 
Archaeologists are not allowed to dig up most of these sites. Maintained by the Japanese government and the Imperial Household Agency only adds to their mystery. The largest coffin, the Dacen Coffin, is thought to be the burial site of Emperor Nintoku based on old texts. However, these texts were written centuries after the tombs were built, so the true occupants remain unknown. The global importance of these tombs was recognized in 2019 when the Mozu Kofun Group was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The restricted access and limited archaeological digging have fueled numerous conspiracy theories and guesses, suggesting that the Kofun might contain advanced old technologies or knowledge. Interestingly, keyhole-shaped structures are found in other parts of the world too. For instance, Sardinia has tombs with long burial chambers and a keyhole shape attributed to the Nuragic civilization, dating back around 4,000 years. Egypt's Kam Ambo Temple features a keyhole-shaped nilometer used to measure the Nile's water level. The Yonaguni Monument, discovered underwater near the Ryukyu Islands, consists of large rock formations with precise angles and steps. Some believe it to be the remains of an old city submerged by rising sea levels at the end of the last ice age. However, established archaeological institutions consider it a natural formation. Which of these prehistoric megastructures of Japan and unexcavated giant tombs do you find intriguing? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section.